14 games on Bean. Um, club record is 15 games, and obviously longest and active on Bean streak right now. How's it feel to be, you know, pretty close to potentially uh, tying and breaking that record? Um, to be honest, I don't really know, because <laughs> we don't think about that. That's something that we don't really discuss, and uh, it's something that the media obviously looks at. We just look at trying to play well from game to game. Um, obviously the results have been going pretty well for us, but we still think that there's definitely places to improve, um, especially the last two games, you know, giving up more goals than we'd like to, um, regardless of what, you know, what might have caused those goals. So there's definitely always room to improve. And, you know, uh, as I was always told, you know, in college um, by uh, Mr. CP, you can learn while winning games. And we don't have to lose a game to always, you know, find ways to improve and ways to be better. So, um, you know, that's something that this coaching staff obviously truly believes that we're trying to always get better and, you know, improve from game to game. Why do you, what do you think it is about the team that you guys have been able to, um, you know, even in maybe ups and downs of the last two games, find a way to, to get at least points, a point or three points out of them? Yeah, I think it's the mentality that he always talks about. And, you know, when you, when you hear him speak in the media and things like that, it's, it's pretty uh, clear that, that that's important to the staff. And that's something that, you know, has helped us and willed us to get results. You know, a lot of times it's not always pretty. And that's the MLS at times that it's not always beautiful soccer. It's not always 50 pass sequences to goals. It's, you know, grinding out goals. It's Adi being on the end of a scram, scramble in the front of the box to, to win us the game. So it's things like that. And, you know, to have that belief and, to, you know, try to carry that on the field, to be um, vocal with each other and to hold each other to a high standard is something that we've definitely improved on this year. And I think uh, the results are showing that. And you, you did mention sort of the last two games, there's been a few goals um, that you probably didn't want to concede. Why do you think maybe there's been a, a few moments where there's you guys have allowed those goals and what do you need to do to improve on? Um, you know, it's hard to, to pinpoint all those, you know, exactly what happened on the goals. You know, I, the way I view it is it's always a, a team goal. You know, it's never necessarily one person's mistake whether they lost the ball, uh, we gave up a tackle, whether they missed their mark, no matter what it is, I try to view them as a team goal. So let's say it is a corner, you know, how could we have prevented the ball from getting out to the corner in the first place or who deflected out of bounds? Maybe you go and double, maybe someone wins the ball. So it's things like that. And collectively, like I said, we score goals as a team and we, we give up goals as a team. So I think, again, it's just, you know, trying to be as concentrated as possible for 90 minutes. And that's not always the easiest. And, um, you know, that's why we hopefully can be vocal on the pitch and, you know, keep each other in it as much as possible for 90 plus minutes. You guys had a really tough start to the season on five games on the road obviously you've done really well since then but in terms of road versus home games it's sort of evening now with these four home games in a row how important is it for you guys you you got you've been a tie a win but now you have two more home games to take advantage of these games at home yeah that's that's always the the double-sided sword right there if you don't pick up points in the road then you're almost forced and you have pressure to pick up those points at home so obviously we didn't start off the season on the best foot but we I think we've you know, made up a decent amount of those points and there's still work to be done. We're still not in first place. We're not even in third place. So there's a lot of work to be done, whether we have games in hand and ultimately games in hand are great until you start dropping points. So we need to make sure that we keep picking up points from week to week. And like I said, if we can start getting our results at home, it takes a little bit of the pressure away. But ultimately, you know, the, the more points we can pick up home and away, the, the better off we'll be. And how is kind of the dynamic in the group now with Audi gone? It's a lot less quiet. <laughs> or it's a lot quieter, sorry. Um, He's, he's a big personality and, uh, you know, the, what I've been telling everyone is obviously on the pitch, you know, goals speak for themselves and how he's done has, has spoken for itself for the past three, four years. But, you know, you can't replace people in the locker room. You know, it's tough losing guys like that. It's tough losing a leader. It's tough losing a, a jokester and someone who really brings the group together. So, you know, a lot of the, the things that people don't see is what we'll miss the most. And, you know, when you lose guys like like that and even Chance and you know in the past we've lost Jack and Nat and you know a lot of these incredible personalities it's tough to replace those guys and ultimately you can't because they're, they're such special people and you know I think um, as I've told everyone it's been poetic his, his, his exit and to come on and score a goal you, you had a feeling he was going to get it and you know kudos to him for coming on and battling and you know getting into you know tussles with Jared that's 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 important and ultimately he deserved a goal and it's it's nothing sweeter than, than for him to leave, and obviously it's going to be a tough, tough hole for us to lose. And the club just lost a lot of goals, so now we got to go find that. And I think it'll be a group effort, you know, to get those back. But you know, we'll never be able to replace a personality like him. I'm going to miss Big Dog. How do you make sure you do have the same leadership, and you know, you don't get it, it doesn't it doesn't cause any you know negative sides that you guys keep the leadership? That you yeah, have. it's kind of the circle of life within a locker room. It's just that you know, ultimately there's a lot of guys who've been at clubs a while, and then. You know, ultimately, whether the older guys go on to different clubs, whether they retire and, and stop their careers, and the, the group that kind of comes up 
um, you know, is taking that. And suddenly I found myself being one of the older guys on the team this year, um, which is fun. And I said, like, uh, like I said, it's, it's, we have an incredible group. The Timbers don't just bring in good players, they bring in good people. And um, it's, he's gonna be tough to replace, but ultimately, you know, that's sports. So we all understand this is a reality of our jobs and we have to, to pick up, you know, where he left off. And, you know, he was incredible when it came to putting his armor on younger guys to, to ease them into situations and to, you know, have some, you know, conversations with these guys when they're not feeling the greatest and things like that. So, um, you know, we have a lot of good guys around us that will definitely pick up the slack there. But, you know, no one will have the same humor as him. No one's going to make people laugh the same. And uh, uh, we're still going to keep the fine for if anyone dresses like Adi, it's still a thousand dollar fine. So he's he's definitely left his mark on the club. And I think he's tattooed here. It's not leaving.